All right, we're gonna move on to, we're getting to the final, the final three major races, or four, the final four major races here. Original screenplay, we have Bridges Spies, we have Ex Machina, we have Inside Out, Spotlight, and Straight Outta Compton. I'm gonna go with Spotlight. Well, I had to know. That's why he had the reaction. Because he knew there were others. I think that's the bigger story. But the numbers clearly indicate that there were senior clergy involved. That's all they do, indicate. Are you telling me that, that if we run a story with 50 pedophile priests in Boston... Mike, we'll get into the same catfight you got into on Porter, which made a lot of noise, but changed things not one bit. We need to focus on the institution, not the individual priests. Practice and policy. Show me the church manipulated the system so that these guys wouldn't have to face charges. Show me they put those same priests back into parishes time and time again. Show me this was systemic, that it came from the top down. Sounds like we're going after law. First of all, very well written uh, screenplay. I think that anyone who's in the journalist field or anyone who's a writer will really, really will appreciate the movie. I think it's not going to win anywhere else. Uh, I, I think possibly Best Picture, but right now this is the way to reward it. Tom McCarthy wrote Spotlight, also directed it, and if they can't give him Best Director, which I don't think he will win, I think that they're going to give him Best Original Screenplay. My, If I was going crazy, I would say Straight Outta Compton would be my personal pick for Original mm -hmm. Screenplay. That was a great mm -hmm. script. Mm -hmm. um, and Inside Out also is is another homage to Pixar movies which do very well all the toys the Toy Story and Toy Story 3 both were up for original screenplay Finding Nemo uh, Incredibles up uh, so they they really do they always pay are nominated. nominated yeah they they are and then great good for mm -hmm. X Machina for getting in there too it's a, it's actually a strong list uh, Bridge of Spies of course right the, com mm -hmm. the comfortable nominee and i feel like Considering my other picks, I feel like Spotlight would make sense for best original screenplay. Um, I, I I feel like it's gonna be Spotlight. So All right, we're both agreeing. We're back together again. Um, On original screenplay. Nice. Partners in crime. Okay. So Spotlight it is. It is. Um, anything else? To add or Nothing should I to add. Move on? You can, so, you, let's move on to adapted. You can read them. Best adapted screenplay: The Big Short, Brooklyn, Carol, The Martian, and Room. Um, so I'm gonna say Room has got this. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's a strong. Uh, one. <laughs> I uh, I should have just I should have just spoke too soon. So. Um, I think we might end up in the same boat again. I'm gonna have to go with Big Short. He's been in there for seven hours. I already had a breakdown. He's letting the front tank. No, he actually prefers that you email him. Excuse me. Mr. Fields, Mr. Hi, Lawrence. We have no confidence in your ability to identify macroeconomic trends. You flew here to tell me that? Why? Every, a, a, anyone can see that there's a real estate bubble. Actually, no one can see a bubble. That's what makes it a bubble. That's dumb, Lawrence. It's always markers. Mortgage fraud quintupled since 2000, and the average take-home pay is flat, but home prices are soaring. That means the homes are debt, not assets. So Mike Burry, a guy who gets his hair cut at Supercuts and doesn't wear shoes, knows more than Alan Greenspan and Hank Paulson. Yeah, Dr. Mike Burry, yes he does. Okay, so you're going with... Big Short? Big Short, and I'm going to agree with you. I'm gonna go with The Big Short. Uh, it's a very well-written film if you haven't seen The Big Short. It, it talks a lot about the housing market crash. It's, it's actually really funny, and they kind of explain the logistics of what goes into real estate, even if you don't understand. I certainly don't understand that stuff as well. And Adam McKay, who also directed The Big Short and is nominated, uh, like Tom McCarthy, I think will get his Constellation Prize with writing. Mm -hmm. So I think that they're going to give it to The Big Short. Mm -hmm. I do think Room is a fantastic script. I think that I would definitely uh, vote for, for Room as well as Brooklyn, as well as The Martian. Those mm -hmm. are great scripts. Carol, I personally was not a fan of as much as some other people. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm glad that Phyllis Nagy got in and um, 
but I think it's gonna be it's gonna be the big short all the way. All right, best director. Here are our nominees. We have or you, 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 let's the Paul read. Adam McKay for The Big Short, George Miller for Mad Max Fury Road, Alejandro Inaritu is back with The Revenant, Lenny Abramson, Room, and then Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. This is a strong, strong list. I'm, I, I think that it's too bad that Ridley Scott did not make it in for The Martian. I think earlier on in the season he was actually favored to win. He's never won an Oscar. Uh, he, he's not, he was nominated for Gladiator and Black Hawk Down and Thelma and Louise. Uh, and um, it's just too bad that he was overlooked, but I think the Martian overall has been underplaying. Um, uh, back earlier in the season, as actually George Miller, Mad Max Fury Road, was critically praised for this movie, mm -hmm. uh, and everyone was saying he was going to take it. Uh, and then uh, the Directors Guild Awards came out, and Alexandro uh, took it for The Revenant. A uh, second time. Mm -hmm. uh, he won last year for Birdman, so it's very, very, very rare for a director to win back-to-back -back Oscars. You'd mm -hmm. have to go back to the, the golden age of film. Um, uh, Adam McKay and Tom McCarthy. Someone was saying originally, uh, earlier on, that if, let's say the big short had been uh, directed by Martin Scorsese or David Fincher, someone that was more known, would it be getting a Best Director prize? And I mm -hmm. think it would have. I think that it's too bad that Adam McKay and Tom McCarthy are not as known in the industry. Um, somewhat, I mean, they're, they're, they're okay. They've done like, Adam McKay's done comedies and stuff and but you know that's not respected with the with the voters they want you to do serious stuff um so if they were well if they were more well-rounded in the industry i think they would have better chances um but the director's guild is something to watch the golden globes also went with uh alexandro as did the bafta awards so if we're gonna go for a director i'm gonna pick alexandro for the revenant my personal choice would probably be adam mckay or uh, George Miller, because I think those are more inspired. I do, I do think that Alexandro does do inspiring work with The Revenant. Um, he definitely is good at doing tackling different genres. Um, I just think that he's won recently, and you know, give it to someone else. George Miller, um, because oh. I feel like he he deserves all of, I mean, all of the respect for having the creative mind that he has. Mm. And I think that, I mean, I feel like Mad Max was really his vision, and I'm hoping people feel the same way. And good for Paul for picking George Miller, because uh, Ann Thompson, one of the big pundits in the game, also is, is sticking with, with George. And uh, if voters, you know, really feel, I think Mad Max is going gonna, is gonna to do well with the technical awards, and I think that many times a uh, director that wins uh, for, uh, technical achievements like Gravity and Life of Pi, which recently in one director, uh, were also technical achievements. But both Revenant and Mad Max are both technical achievements. Okay. So mm -hmm. it is very difficult right. Right. to choose between those two. But we, we're gonna we're gonna go with, I'm going with The Revenant for director and mm. Paul for Mad Max. George Miller. Okay. All right, finally, our Best Picture nominees. This is our final prediction. The nominees are The Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max, Fury Road, The Martian, The Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. Mm. All right. What do you think, Paul? I've what's, lost. what's, and this is, this is again, might be the hardest category to predict, which is why the ratings are going to be good this year. Not only is Leonardo DiCaprio winning, but everyone's going to be sitting waiting to see what's in that envelope. Right. I mean, this is very, very difficult. It hurts. Um, my nails have been bitten, <laughs> and my sleep has been lost, and um, my hands are shaking. Um, so <clears throat> I want I want the room to win, and I want Big Short to win, and I want mm -hmm. Mad Max to win. <laughs> um, I even kind of want Brooklyn to win. Um, but I think that I, oh gosh, I'm tired of everyone saying The Revenant because I think it kind of, you know, it, it kind of clouds the debate a little bit um, because I feel like that it's not so cut and dry. Um, I feel like Spotlight is... It, I mean, is is being over? Maybe it's because it's it's later on in the cycle from like Spotlight was yes. in the spotlight. 
sure. and now Spotlight is out of the spotlight. Yes. Um, I also think Spotlight isn't as... It's a very well done film, but it's not... Um, it doesn't speak Best Picture. Like, it's, it's just very smooth. And we talked about understated. that earlier. It's understated. There you go. And I just don't think Subtle wins. I think Spotlight is still right. too uh, under the radar. Um, it, but um, the social issues that it brings up along with the, the big short are very relevant. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to be one of the few that's going to go with Big Short. And mm -hmm. here's the main reason I'm going with the Big Short. It's one the Producers Guild Award. Now, the Producers Guild Award, like the Oscars, uh, works with a preferential ballot, which means they don't just check off their favorite. They, they list their favorite films from one to eight. And whatever movie is getting the most number one and two and threes is the consensus. And I believe that the Big Short Mm -hmm. will have the consensus and the fact that the PGA mm -hmm. since 2009 when they switched over to doing the preferential ballot like the Oscars has never been wrong mm -hmm. so Hurt Locker, King Speech, The Artist, Argo, 12 Years a Slave and Birdman all won PGA and won the Oscar so I don't want to bet against the industry uh, the only thing that makes this a risky prediction is that the Big Short lost the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Ensemble to Spotlight. And normally, you would think with the, uh, such a strong ensemble that's louder than Spotlight, which it was. I mean, I felt like the guys in Big Short were awake. I felt like the uh, people in Spotlight were sort of just sedated, which is okay. It was how they were presented. I think that was telling. Um, and I also think that The Revenant uh, winning the BAFTA, winning the DGA, making the most money at the box office, mm -hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio is going to win the Oscar. The heat seems to be on The Revenant. But I think that The Revenant is too divided. Mm -hmm. I think that like there'll be number one, two, and three votes for Big Short and In A Way Spotlight. I think a lot of voters are going to put Revenant last. I mean, it's, and sadly, same with Mad Max. Mm -hmm. People either love Mad Max or they hate Mad Max. Mm -hmm. People either love Revenant or they say, I didn't get it at all. It was boring. I didn't understand it after the bear attack. You know, uh, So it's going to be weighted on a different system. Mm -hmm. But it could change. I mean, it's only been, what, six years since the PGA changed to the preferential ballot? And molds are meant to be broken. No one thought that Argo was going to win Best Picture because um, Ben Affleck wasn't nominated for Best Director. And mm -hmm. then he won. Mm -hmm. Because that hadn't, been, that hadn't happened since Driving Miss Daisy. So it could change. Things, things are meant to change. What do you think? Where are you going, Paul? <sighs> okay, well, I... Uh... It's, I, I, I like I, I don't relish making decisions uh, to be honest but <laughs> which is why which is why this game is probably gonna be good for me to be in um, I am going to make I'm gonna make the room uh, are you not gonna pick the room I'm gonna pick the room Paul now listen I I, I know we're jumping off Unless cliffs, but a... you're you're literally going down with the Titanic with this prediction <laughs> I mean, but seriously if okay so considering the preferential there ballot, is no considering way the preferential ballot, <laughs> no considering the preferential ballot nobody is gonna put the room at the bottom of their list you know what I mean it's not it's not oh. like a polarizing thing. <laughs> I, uh, that was an audible gas. <laughs> Gail, the psychic, would have made a yeah, better prediction. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to take it away. If you want to pick room, then pick room. It's a great film. It's. I know it's. You I, would it's be probably the, because I just saw it, but you I would. Be, <laughs> you would be the only one. That I, would be great. But I thought it was so good. I thought it, it was, was very good. I thought it was so good, and I thought it was okay. So I think I thought it was. More moving and powerful than Spotlight, you know, or, yes. or Brooklyn. It's less polarizing than Mad Max or The sure. Revenant. Um, it's weightier than The Martian. Um, mm. The Big Short is 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 too weird and like fourth wall breaky and oh it's, come on. and it's too oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's like vaguely gimmicky and you know it's great the first time through mm -hmm. but it's again the, the second time through I was just like oh all the shock factor wore off and so I wasn't quite as uh, you know sold. Um, and and I thought Bridge of Spies didn't have a lot of uh, it didn't really have Bridges, a conflict. Bridge of Spies was to Tom Hanks things. doing Tom Hanks. There was it just wasn't was the stakes felt low the whole time and yes. it didn't really seem. Oh, the to stakes have. are high in Room. 
I know. So exactly. you are gonna. You would be the only one. Which actually, if it get right, we would literally so get a ton be, of views. Right. Exactly. We'd be <laughs> we'd be billionaires if yes. I was betting. If you were uh, betting, if I was a betting man. If you were betting. So you should sign up for Gold Derby. It's free. And just you should put the, your money just, on the room. Put all of my points on the room. Yeah, and you would you would uh-huh. you would win first place. Well. <laughs> May this be my my first and potentially last um, best picture prediction. Well, we're because gonna, if I'm wrong, I'm going out with a bang. Well, um, the thing is, we're going to be doing a post reaction. Right. Video so I'm going to gonna have to so, come back in here and um, you know defend my. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to defend this Thomas Newman prediction. Yeah, go which for it. Is, I'm feeling bad about now because right. I'm thinking, and same with Sam Smith. I'm thinking the music categories are not going to go in my favor. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay, final predictions for Best Picture. Jason, movie guy, I'm going with The Big Short, and Paul is making history and going with Room. Mm-hmm. All right? If you are betting money, don't listen to either one of us. I would suggest probably going with a safe pick, The Revenant, at this point. Um, but preferential ballot is a weighted system that only the PGA does. The BAFTA, the Golden Globes, do not do a preferential. So they check off what they want. So that's where me and a few other people are sticking by the big short. And I think that the elections are coming up and I think that voters are gonna care about this issue more than corrupt priests. Um, Room definitely has uh, corruption in it, and kidnapping and terrifying. Moral corruption. Moral corruption. And degradation. Um, and I like that you mentioned Brooklyn. That was a very, very, very sweet film. And I'm, I'm really, it's too bad that it, it most likely will be going home empty handed, though I would be. It was too also, sweet. So you, now you do realize you're picking Room for Best Picture, but you're not picking, you're not picking Larson for Best Actress. So you realize that the last film to I'm win. I'm trying to split the difference, you know? The I, last film to win. I'm only, not going all in. The last film to win only Best Picture at the Oscars and nothing else. Uh-huh. Uh, I think was, was Grand Hotel back in 19... 19- 32. So uh, you, I remember. Yeah, that's um. It takes guts. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But I'm glad you're on my show, Paul. Maybe, okay, maybe maybe I'm picking the movie I want to win, but... But that's but okay. You want to go... The fact that you waited it out and you said... I believe in the Academy, you know? Yeah, I, you know? I have faith that <laughs> maybe they... Um, Maybe they also just watched the room last Now night wait, and... can we do something or are we not? I'm going to let Paul make this decision, not me. Are we allowed to go back and change one of our predictions? I would like to change one. And then I would let you change one. So we or are we one... stuck? So we each get one, <laughs> one mulligan? Yes. I or we have to stick to fair. it. Do you want... I mean, we don't have to. Um, we can just stick this one out. Well, it's so close to the actual Oscars, you know, that I, I feel like we can't we can't change now. It's not like we're going through a new cycle of films that's just come out or something. Right. It's like, and we haven't gone through any new award. I'm not changing okay. anything either. I am right. sticking to Thomas Newman, Bridge of Spies. I'm, I'm and sticking to Saoirse Ronan and... Saoirse Ronan you know, and Room. Yeah, and Room for Best Picture. That's amazing. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an, it's been a pleasure having you guys watch our our Oscar show. And Paul and I are going to be doing a continuous monthly uh, video discussing film and movies. So even after the Oscars, you can still come back and talk to us.